Welcome to Multi-Unit Franchisee Succession, How to Grow and Build Value, a video series where two industry leaders share their insights on the challenges and strategies of franchise business growth and succession planning. Jeff Bannon, a succession planner with the Rawls Group, and Aisha Vascaro, president of American Franchise Academy, delve into key topics such as attracting and retaining talent, managing inflation, and preparing for multi-unit franchisee succession. Tune in to learn from their experiences and expertise on how to build long-term success and profitability in your franchise business. Yeah, I mean, ultimately for every entrepreneur and every business owner, um, every every one of them is in one of three places in life um, as, it turned, as it relates to the future of their company. Um, I know I'm going to sell it. I know I'm going to keep it or I don't know yet. Um, if you look at that from, from that perspective, the, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cut and dry in terms of, um, you know, I know I'm going to sell it, you know, it's just a, a function of, um, when you feel like getting out, find a good market time and sell it. Uh, I know I want to keep it, you know, that's where you got a lot of heavy lifting to do to stay in control, um, of everything before you prepare the, or while you prepare the business to pass it on. But the, I'm not sure yet, I think is where most, most business owners are They're They're not sure what, what the outcome would be. They just want to, you know, get some clarity on how to make that decision. Um, you know, as you look to um, determining how to prepare for um, for any future event, uh, really what you're looking at is a strategic planning initiative. At its core, that's all it is. It's saying, what is my current reality versus what is my preferred future? Um, and if the preferred future is blurry, then what we talk about doing is making sure that there are mechanisms mechanisms in place, such as a succession bridge that said, if I couldn't show up to work tomorrow, I have full confidence that this team below me is empowered, um, has a capacity to, to run this business in my absence, and my loved ones and my family can make the decision whether or not to keep it or sell it. And as long as you have... Um, qualified, capable, competent successors, whether that's an individual or it's a team of people, um, you're in control of the destiny of the fate that you worked your lifetime to preserve. And so as you as you look in your organization, obviously, um, there's probably no one to replace the owner. The, the owner pulled, typically pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, did everything themselves, and there's no one with the full uh, organizational, institutional knowledge that that owner has. So a question becomes, if we want to stay in control of our future, what do we need to teach the team members to be able to do? Um, because ultimately, if they don't know what to do, then you are handcuffed to the business forever until you decide to sell it. And ultimately, that's not being in control. So the point of keeping control is preparing your people to, is, to assume responsibility for the leadership of the company. Yeah, you know, that, that goes really well with what you would say here are the three roles of a business owner franchisee. We say that uh, the first role is to grow and protect their people because not only are they responsible for them to be able to train and develop and grow within the organization, but also to keep them safe and to make sure that the environment in which they are in every possible way is an environment where they can thrive. Then the second responsibility or role that we tell them is to grow and protect the brand. They spend a whole lot of money, you know, in being able to have access to that proven brand that brings them brings in the revenue, the possibility for revenue that they don't have to make up. Somebody else already went through the pains of creating. And so you need to protect it and grow it because if you grow that brand, that means you're growing your business. And the last one, we say that you have to grow and protect your business. And that means that you need to be able to maximize the profitability out of that brand that you invested in. To do, to do that, you need to have great people. You need to have a great brand. And if you have those two and you grow and protect them, now you can focus on protecting and growing your profitability or your business. And that is what's going to be able to give you control over uh, your business in your life, you know, and uh, one of the things we call our clients commanders because we want them to be in command of their business. And um, and we believe that if you are doing these three roles and and being able to spend enough time and effort and focus and learning, continue learning on how to do a better job because things change so much. You know, every year, every couple of years, every generation, I mean, change is just, it's just what's going to happen. And as long as we embrace that change and continue to evolve and train ourselves and develop ourselves to doing those three roles with excellence, 
you will be in control of your business. And so that's going to be something that is important that we actually uh, always talk about and suggest for business owners to do. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that term commander, stay in command of your business. I, I think, it, you know, one of the, the key thoughts there is making sure that um, every business owner has the opportunity to work on their business and not in their business. Um, you know, and the only way to work on your business is when you've successfully created a structure to take yourself out of the business. Um, you know, I think um, last week I was with, with a client who uh, was playing golf in Arizona, saw some news regarding the industry trends, called uh, his son who was running the business. He said, hey, you saw this. What's the plan for dealing with, with this issue? And the son said, oh, dad has been keeping me up all night. Um, I don't know what to do. And the dad said, great. Glad to know you have all the heartburn. I'm going to go play golf now. Talk to you later. <laughs> and it was one of those, you know, that's freedom. That's control. You know, uh, he's in control of everything, but he does not carrying around the heartburn. And I think that's a place where every entrepreneur wants to get at some point. Succession planning allows you to create more control over the future you envision. By proactively addressing possible, probable, and potential issues, you can create many options at your fingertips. Do you have a question you want to discuss with an expert? Feel free to reach out directly to Jeff or Aisha at the email addresses listed on the screen. This is only one out of our eight episode series focused on strategies to grow and build value in your business. Continue listening to the series now or come back for more. Each topic featured may want you to learn something new. Franchisee Succession, How to Grow and Build Value is a part of the Rawls Group's Advancing Your Business, People, and Legacy Conversation Series.